Roasted mushrooms with balsamic onions is a great accompaniment for a holiday roasted tenderloin. And usually when a recipe calls for mushrooms, you'll often think immediately of sauteing, but we're roasting them today instead. Actually, I love cooking them this way because A, it's really pretty easy to do. Instead of standing over the stove with a saute pan, you can put them all on a sheet pan and cook them all at once in large batches rather than cooking them small batches on the stove top. Today we're using three different varieties in this recipe. Shiitake mushrooms, baby bella mushrooms, and portobellas. If your mushrooms, no matter what variety, have a little bit of dirt clinging to them, I find that the easiest way to clean them is just to dampen a piece of paper towel and then just brush it off like this. There's no reason that you can't run them under cold running water to clean them, but if you do that, just do it very quickly, very briefly, because mushrooms are already like 80% water and you don't want them to absorb a lot more. In this bowl, I have five ounces of sliced shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushroom has a nice smoky flavor to it. And the thing that makes it really special is that it has almost a little bit of a chewy bite. It has nice texture to it rather than falling apart in your mouth. The stem is often woody and, and a little bit tough, so you want to just twist it and remove it. It comes out real easily. And then just slice it up and add it to the bowl. Now the recipe calls for 10 ounces of baby bella mushrooms cut in half. A baby bella mushroom is a little different from a white uh, mushroom in that it has less moisture content, so the, the texture and the flavor is more intense, more concentrated, more mushroom flavor. Now if you let this baby bella grow up and mature fully, it's going to become a portobello. Big size difference, yes, but a very similar, very similar in taste and texture. Um, now the stem on a portobello is actually pretty soft and this is edible. So for this recipe we're just going to leave it in because we're cutting um, the, the mushroom up into small pieces anyhow. Um, if you want to take it out you can just twist it and remove it very easily but let's just leave it there. Okay, in go the portobellos. And this recipe calls for one pound cut into one inch pieces. Next we're adding one jar of balsamic onions, Italian classic balsamic onions that have been drained and cut in half. This is a combination of little onions with balsamic vinegar and a little bit of sugar. And I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. And our most popular and favorite ingredient, some um, basting oil. I'm going to use actually about a half a cup in this recipe, which seems like a lot, but you'll be surprised. Um, you won't see any of that liquid down below because mushrooms are like sponges and they really absorb everything. Give it a little toss and then transfer the mushrooms to a baking sheet. Um, I have this one lined with parchment paper because it makes cleanup a lot easier but you don't have to. It's not absolutely necessary. And then spread them out in more or less one layer. And now I'm going to take these over to a preheated 450 degree oven. I'm going to start cooking them at 450 degrees for about 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes, we're going to reduce the heat to 350 degrees so the mushrooms don't burn. And then we'll let them to continue to cook for about, oh, another 20 to 25 minutes. All right, these have been in the oven for about 25 minutes. And as you can see, they're nice and caramelized from the sugar and the onions and, um, and nice and browned along the edges. Uh, so I'm gonna just transfer this to a serving dish. You'd be surprised how much flavor that one jar of onions gives to this dish. Roasted mushrooms with balsamic onions, a great accompaniment to any holiday beef dish.